In order to determine the concavity for f of x, we examine the second derivative. So we have f of x equals e to the x, and the first derivative is e to the x times x plus 1. And it's pretty easy to determine that the second derivative is e to the x times x plus 2 after simplification. And I would advise you to go back and take a look um, at that and uh, do that yourself. Stop the movie and go do it yourself. And we can clearly see that uh, any x will work in here. There are no undefined, uh, val there are no values of x that, are un that make this function undefined. So we won't get any critical points there by finding where the second derivative is undefined. But we do find some uh, critical points when we set this to zero, don't we? And uh, e to the x is never zero, but when x is negative two, this expression will be zero. So x equals negative two is a pos point where this thing could change from being concave up to concave down, okay? So we examine it on the number line, negative two, and I put some number, uh, you know, some a big negative number in there. Of course, this remains positive, and this factor will be negative. I'll do it here. This remains positive, and this factor will be negative when you put a very large negative number in. So the expression is negative until you hit negative two. Now, if I put a large positive number or a number greater than two, negative two, obviously this will be positive, and this is always positive. So I get a positive value. So I'm concave down here. Here, oops, didn't mean to do that, and concave up on this side of negative 2. And that's what we write. Here we are. I've kind of got it a little better here with this concave down over the negative, concave up. We have an inflection point, don't we, at negative 2. And here's our results right here. Concave down from negative infinity to negative 2. Uh, when x is though it takes on those values concave up here and in, an inflection point at 2 and negative 2 over e squared and we can think of e uh, as around 3 so this is about negative 2 ninths isn't it so negative 2 and negative 2 ninths by the way we got that inflection point by putting negative 2 in the original function so be careful don't put it in the second derivative otherwise you'll just get 0